hello and welcome back so now in this video we will make our waypoint visible so the thing we need to do is to create some easy way of seeing how each of our waypoints are connected to one another okay we want to see all of that right here in the scene window so it will basically help us and it will tell us that which waypoint is connected to which one okay for now if we created some waypoint as you can see we can't see that which waypoint is created and attached to which one okay this is really confusing so let me delete that and what we will do we will create a new script inside our editor folder and that script will use some gizmos to help us achieve this visualization task okay so right here in the editor let's create a new c sharp script by the name of wavepoint editor let's open this up and as you know at the top we need to add the using unity editor and we don't want this model behavior for this and at the top let's initialize the onload attribute and in here let me delete that and let's add a public static by the name of on draw scene gizmos because we will only see our gizmos in the scene window so that's why I name it like this and in here let's add a reference to our waypoint and then to the gizmo type so this will be our parameters for this method or function and right here at the top let's add the gizmo attribute and in here we will say gizmo type dot non selected and let's add the next one which is dot selected and let's add the next one which will be dot pickable okay so right here we are just simply telling the unity to draw a gizmo regardless of whether or not the game object is selected or not and also if it is pickable or not so right here if the waypoint is selected so we will say gizmo type and the gizmo type is selected okay so if this is not equals to zero then it means that the waypoint is selected and if it is selected then the gizmos dot color will be equals to uh, sorry blue so we'll say color dot blue and make sure that this is capital and if the waypoint is not selected then its color will be a little bit blue or you can say a filled color of blue so gizmos.color will be equals to color dot blue and let's multiply that by 0.5f okay so this will basically give the color to our waypoint and now also we want to create a sphere from the center point of our waypoint to make it more visible so for that we will say gizmos dot draw sphere and we want to draw the sphere as i told you from the center of it so we will say waypoint dot transform dot position and the position will be minus 1f and now let's color it as white so we will say gizmos dot color 
this will be equals to color dot white let me now save this and now if we create a wave point and turn on the gizmos now as you can see there is the wave point and around the wave point as you can see we created a sphere from the center point of the wave point okay let me actually move this to the ground so that it is visible okay as you can see now this will be our wave point now we can see where is our wave point located let's create another wave point and as you can see there is our next wave point and now when we select another one and move it up there now we can see that we have three different wave point now the next thing we want to do is to link all of these wave point accordingly for example we will link these first two because the wave point zero next wave point is one so we will draw a line from there and as you know that the wave point one previous wave point is zero so we will draw a line from here to there and then the wave point one next wave point is wave point two so we will draw a line to this one and the wave point two previous wave point is this wave point one so we will draw a line from there as well so kind of we will link these all then we will know that which wave point is, connect, is connected to which one okay for now we can see our wave point and you can see the colors changing when we select the wave point zero as you can see it colors become dark blue and when we deselect it its color become a little bit fade so now in the next video we will simply link our wave point and then also you will know that how this wave point width will work okay so let's just end this video right here